but shift focus to what really has been the festive demand whether or not you are seeing uh, consumer trends actually change and what exactly are consumers buying who better than Ajay Kapoor from Fab India to help us understand what the patterns are indicating Ajay hi good morning great to have you on the show uh, good morning Aisha uh, and uh, good morning Okay, Ajay, you know, you're a brand that uh, is to reckon with and for time immemorial, we've been going to Fab India and, um, you know, have been part of the, uh, the consumer list. But wanted to understand, in Fab India's recent avatar, one has seen Fab India has now explored and expanded into newer categories. Uh, you can also buy your homeware, you can buy your clothes, you can even buy health supplements now at Fab India. Help us understand, since the lockdown opening, what are the kind of buying trends that you witness? What are people buying? Well, Aisha, uh, first of all, I would actually like to start by saying that this is the 60th year of Fab India. We just celebrated the 60th birthday on the 7th of October. And uh, we definitely had very big plans for this year, which unfortunately could not fold the way we wanted it to. Uh, the second thing is that this year has been a year wherein uh, we have actually lived with an idea of unlearn to learn. Uh, so whatever we learned uh, in the past is something which we are actually putting it behind and we are learning new ways of selling and reaching out to the consumers. Well, it can be divided into three phases. Uh, phase one, where it was a complete lockdown and we were trying to figure out ways to reach to the consumer. Second is that when the list of containment zones started coming in uh, and uh, uh, we were allowed to open uh, stores in the non-containment zones uh, with obviously very, very limited resources. And then third is the period from July, August onwards, where we saw a lot of stores opening. Today, uh, when we speak, uh, we have all the 312 stores across the country operating. Uh, and with all the precautions, yes, uh, uh, in, these, in this time, uh, we have seen a very sharp decline in the footfall coming into the stores, but we have also seen very serious customers coming into the stores who really come to shop and, uh, and, and they pick up everything which is uh, available in the store and is to their requirements and to their needs. Sure. You know, uh 60 years, firstly, congratulations and happy birthday. Didn't realize that it was such an old brand. But, you. Uh, you know, if one can see the diversification now, one always uh, sort of relates uh, Fabinda with an earthy organic brand. With your uh, health category, health food category, that is, Organic India, what's been... Um, your reading because you know what the covid pandemic has done is one has really begun to look into immunity health supplements they're the latest fad and the need of the hour much frankly now you cater to that uh, category with organic india products as well which are at all your retail stores and online as well are you seeing consumers yes. drift towards more of that category as opposed to the traditional clothing line uh so uh, I, I wouldn't say so, but then yes, definitely the focus has been on immunity. Uh, Organic India as a company uh, has been doing well. Uh, in, in Fab India stores that we run, uh, the experience center especially that we run, we have a wellness center over here. And we are clearly seeing a spurt in the sales of uh, the immunity uh, supplements and uh, everything that is supposed, uh, that is to do with healthy living. Uh, in the meantime, what also has happened is that, as I said, that it's a period of unlearn to learn. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of focus which we have also brought in in terms of communication at the floor level uh, to ensure that we actually tell the customer uh, as to what is going to help them and in and, and in the best possible way. Uh, so, so that has been the focus. Organi Organic India as an organization, as a company, is doing well. And when we are when we are looking at the numbers which we are driving out of. Uh, the wellness centers that we have in experience centers, uh, we are definitely uh, looking at an uh, upswing in the numbers over here also. The customer as such is more conscious. The customer is uh, more selective now in terms of selecting uh, things which are related to immunity.
Hi, Ajay, and uh, thanks so much for uh, joining in. Uh, certainly another loyal customer over here. But I just wanted to understand, uh, you know, what there has been when it comes to a pivot. Because a lot of companies have had to really, you know, relook their overall business and uh, assess things in times of a lockdown where things have changed 360 degrees. Do you think in light of this, the online contribution has gone up significantly? post unlock or as things are gradually unlocking do you think that there will be larger penetration or a permanent shift now towards online or do you see things resuming as they were gradually uh, no I, I i will agree to that that the, there has been a significant shift on the online uh, piece and uh, we are no different uh, we are also uh, we are also seeing a similar thing happening and as i said that uh, i mean like we'll have to look at into phases because when it all started in the month of April, and we were only allowed to ship uh, the essentials, the focus was on organic food uh, and the products from Organic India and the personal care products, which subsequently moved to when the market opened up for uh, non-essentials also, it started moving into the home category and the uh, and the garments categories also. So, so we are definitely seeing a major, major shift as far as online, uh, uh, as far as online uh, 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 trending is concerned. I mean, like, uh, if you have to ask me uh, the comparison in Fab India, we are looking at a forex uh, jump in terms of uh, the shift of consumers from uh, from from the store to uh, the online, and that is because of the fact that we are getting nearly forty to forty-five percent of the footfall which we normally used to get. Uh, in the in the normal times, so the customers are willing to shop, and the preference is theirs uh, whether they want to come to the store or whether they go to the uh, whether they want to go on fabindia.com and shop. Uh, that is not the that is not uh, uh, that is not all that we are doing. We have actually gone a step ahead, and we launched a service which is called the White Glove service, a White Glove service in which a customer can actually call on a number one eight hundred one double zero one two one two, and they can they get linked. Uh, by putting in a pin code uh, to the nearest possible store and the store actually gets into a conversation uh, shares with them the pictures and and we ensure that the products are delivered to their uh, places in, in in no time so so it is all about reaching the customer now whether the customer wants to come to the store or they want to shop online or the white glove service which we have introduced in the last six months uh, which is actually showing very good results now because the customers are comfortable uh, uh, getting the products at their home is what we are focusing on. And uh, uh, as we go ahead, we'll have to see that how the trends uh, shift. Uh, definitely one more thing which is visible is that we are just done with the puja uh, in the East. And uh, we saw a very decent footfall coming in into the stores, which also gives you an indication that people want to come out. But then how cautious and how careful and how safe an environment we can provide to them is something which... Uh, I think the brands uh, like Fab India are working very hard to ensure that uh, we, we, we provide the customers a very uh, safe environment to come and shop. Okay, and how about your stores overseas? How are they faring at the moment? What is that contribution to your overall revenue pie? And do you think that you'll scale up internationally further? Uh, so, uh, international stores are trending very much in line with what uh, uh, what we are looking at India. Uh, uh, Dubai has been a Dubai has been a, a good uh, surprise uh, during the Una months, and uh, the last ten days we are seeing a spike again. Uh, same is the same is the story in Singapore also. Uh, what we also understand and what we feel is that. Pro uh, perhaps because the people, uh, uh, because of the reason that people are not uh, able to come back to India is the reason why they are shopping over there. And we have our own loyalists in all these countries who who, who uh, swear by the brand. So uh, uh, so we are definitely seeing an uh, uh, a, a very very uh, stable uh, uh, performance uh, on the in the in the international markets also. Uh, international markets right now, uh, I mean, like uh, uh, looking into the situation, I mean, one year back, we had big plans for expansion uh, in the international markets also, but uh, it has been put on hold for the moment. As and when the situation improves, we will definitely uh, be working on that plan again. Okay. 
Ajay, in terms of uh, regions, even domestically, tier two, tier three, in terms of regions, uh, geographies, product segments, anything else you can share with us in terms of really where you're seeing traction and the outlook on growth as well? Well, as I said, that East is ju just done with Pucha and, uh, uh, and, and we saw some very good results coming in. We are definitely seeing uh, a very good traction coming up in uh, Gujarat, Rajasthan and MP, uh, where we are uh, ahead of the curve in terms of the last year business that uh, we have been recording over there. So Gujarat, Rajasthan and MP has really uh, shaped up well, uh, followed by a good buoyancy that we see in the North markets. Uh, West has been a bit slow, uh, but we all know that Maharashtra has been probably one of the worst state, uh, states in terms of uh, the pandemic. Uh, it is coming back to normal now. Uh, uh, we are very clearly also seeing that uh, there's a very uh, a clear difference between the performance that we are getting in the malls vis-a-vis uh, -vis the performance that we are getting on the high streets. Uh, uh, people are still uh, skeptical going to the malls despite all the safety precautions that have been taken but they are very comfortable coming to the high street stores. And uh, we are clearly seeing a spike over here. Uh, uh, so in terms of, in terms of uh, uh, regional thing, I'll say that Gujarat, MP and Rajasthan is uh, leading the pack right now for us, followed by North and East. As I said, the last 45 days have been uh, pretty cheerful in terms of the business that has happened. Uh, Kerala has again taken a hit because of the second wave which is coming in. Uh, uh, so uh, so, so we are we are expecting that uh, things settle down soon over there and uh, we'll, we'll get, we get back to the normal business. Uh, but tourists not coming into Kerala, tourists not coming into Bombay, especially in the southern part, uh, in, the, in the Fort area, tourists not coming into Goa is, is going to have a major impact when it comes to uh, Fab India in these uh, markets, which are highly, highly tourist uh, dominated. Of course, um, and of course, while you know, while uh, clothing continues to be um, apparel continues to be a major chunk, is there a percentage breakup that you're looking at in terms of how much, let's say, the organic, uh, uh, you know, food and skincare lines will become? Uh, in terms of an overall share of the pie down the line, even from a longer term perspective, is there something that you're aiming towards? Well, if you look at the overall pie, uh, uh, I uh, I don't think that organic uh, food and the personal care will have a very, very significant share. Uh, but then, yes, uh, what we also feel and uh, uh, understand is that there could be a 1% uh, shift in terms of category contribution of these two categories to the total buy of Fab India. Uh, in these times, uh, uh, like while, while we had a 78% contribution of apparel uh, to a 20% per, uh, to an 18% contribution of home offerings in the past, in these times, what we have seen is that the contributions have actually gone significantly high for the home categories because people have been staying at home. There has been a huge demand in terms of uh, buying soft furnishings and the contribution of home in these six months have gone to as high as 27, 28%. We are also, I'm mean, like this year is not a year for growths. Uh, so we are actually uh, benchmarking ourselves against uh, uh, the percentage of last year that, that we would want to achieve. And I'm uh, very happy to share that in the home category per se, uh, we are trending at around 92 to 95% of last year, which is a very, very good indication uh, that, uh, that people do want to shop and they are looking for uh, products uh, for their requirements. Uh, apparel uh, at the moment is taking a slightly back seat, but we are very hopeful that in this, come, in this festive season, apparel will also bounce back as per expectations. We wish you all the very best. Thanks very much for giving us a flavor as to how business has been shaping up as well as your growth plans. That's Fab India for you.